Welcome to the Freeport Connection with Tommy. This report is going to be about TNA spoilers for next week Thanksgiving Day episode. But first, as always, some recent uh, TNA news. And there will be a uh, comment section or, or uh, an interview that I will do. Uh, by, uh, well, I can't do the video, I don't have another another laptop in, uh, well, because it was sent to the shop yesterday, well, it's been down for two weeks, I finally, finally uh, got off my lazy button, uh, made a phone call to Dale to get it repaired, free of charge. But first, uh, like I said, here's some news, a video interview with Jeff Hardy uh, uh, from the Balfour Glory Fan Fest. It's about a three-minute three, uh, three minute and twenty-second vid uh, video. Well, I, since I can't do the video, I'll just do the audio portion. And he, he, discuss, he was discussing his TNA action figure and his new theme song. And here we go. If you want to listen to it and just watch my pretty face. As ODB, it's not just a, a pretty face. Well, right, here we go anyways. It's loading, if you can hear it. Video starts off with uh, Ric Flair coming out and Sting, Hulk Hogan, wearing his blue bandana, black shades, and his gold chain, trying to be John Cena. Wrestling fix is here and, and now bound for glory. Fan free party with TNA's Jeff Hardy. How you doing, Jeff? Good, man. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You feeling good? I'm feeling good. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. It's good to be here. Good to be seen. Definitely, definitely. So check it out. We have the Glow Paint Jeff Hardy exclusive right here. This has been one of our most popular exclusives ever. Definitely our most popular Jeff Hardy figure ever. The face paint clothes in the dark, the arm paint, the shirt, the packaging, all that stuff. This is one of my favorite uh, by far, too, because back in these days, I would come out so messy with paint. He'd be on my opponent all over the ring, so this brings back memories and, and good memories. So, uh, yeah, I love this figure. Crazy detail, man. There's, like, specific bits of paint there and stuff that just glow. You know, it's not, like, entirely glow in the dark or anything like that. It's glowing is very cool with that symbol. I'll never get tired of the uh, charismatic enigma symbol. I don't believe it. That's a part of you, right? It is a part of me. Okay. It is, it's like Prince's symbol, if it's mine. The, the formerly known, whatever. Formerly known as the charismatic enigma. Yeah, what is that? And he shows the charismatic enigma. So we just made a look figure. at our next exclusive, which is upcoming. This, this is uh, very soon. This is the twist the pain. If you see it down there, this is uh, Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy two pack with that new packaging. Double pack. Wrestling packaging. Very cool. Very cool. We have Matt Hardy brothers. This whole uh, cold blooded theme. And, and this whole idea with our, our bloodline is you know, something other, whatever. But uh, it's very cool. The shirts are like Matt and uh, Jeff Hardy with a Matt's cold-blooded uh, character. That's awesome. That's gonna be hot. Action figure. Definitely, definitely. So you, you're a big figure collector, right? Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, so what, what's your favorite so far that you've owned of yourself? I suppose. Uh, actually, as of late, um, the one with the pink sleeves and the pink face. Is, like I've seen a lot of those here today, and uh, this is one of my of my uh, favorites as well. But the one with the pink sleeves, as of late, is uh, my most recent favorite. That's sweet. So. People probably aren't going to see this at this point until after Bound for Glory, but I have to know, are you going to be, be around there maybe? You, ever, you never know, huh? Yeah, I am. And you know what I'm waiting for? I'm going to stay it because it's, it's known that it's out there, but me and myself and Del Oliver completed my new theme music. It's called Resurrected. It's the best work we've done yet. I mean, I think it, it you know, uh, Modest was okay, you know, another was okay, but this is, this is phenomenal. I'm really happy. I hope I get to use it uh, sooner than later, and hopefully uh, sooner is tomorrow. Awesome. Sounds good. So, you know. A lot going on. Twist of Hate exclusive. Can you just give it a quick shout out? Yeah, Twist of Hate exclusive. It's it's superb. It's awesome. Can't wait to see that in the stores. And uh, can't oh no, that's well, that's only on WrestlingFigures.com. Not available in any stores. So it's that special. Okay, that's it's very cool. Very cool. Uh, Jacks, they do great work. I love all their stuff. And uh, I'm stoked. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. And they it, show man. the actual figure having a ladder where they're climbing the ladder. And that's WrestlingFigures.com, where you can catch his, his merchandise. 
Okay, Matt, uh, Matt Reby or by, uh, via, Facebook, or, uh, where I, where I got the, uh, this article from Reby Sky on Twitter, she posted a nude photo of both of them laying together on her Twitter yes, uh, yesterday and noted that it was Matt's idea. Matt was visiting this weekend on a home pass from the rehab facility that he's been in. Reeby noted that uh, he has no more weekend passes until late December, which is around Christmas, right before the rehab is complete. Hardy entered the WWE sponsor rehab back in late September and should be done in time for Christmas. And if you want to see the picture, sorry, I'm not going to do it uh, on here. You can check my Facebook account. I posted the uh, link to the actual picture. And it's on uh, TwitPic on Reby's account. So you have to just go to my Facebook from uh, that's uh, facebook.com slash Tommy Tom J. Bobby Lashley will face TNA star Rob Terry at the Family Wrestling Entertainment Show on December 17th at Three Legged Studio in New York City. Other wrestlers are Ring of Honor, Charlie Haas versus Eric Young from TNA, and Charlie's wife, Jackie Gator Haas versus Winter from TNA. Actually, it's, uh, it's all Impact Wrestling now. They're trying to drop the TNA initials. Uh, okay. TNA, uh, TNA TV champion Robbie E. recently filmed a commercial for Spike TV's upcoming video game awards. There are rumblings that TNA star Jesse Neal is on his way out of the company. Well, if he's on his way out, what's going to happen to his fiance? Toxine. Hmm. Thanks to Eric for fo uh, sending the following. TNA Impact spoilers from Tuesday night's taping. This will air on Thanksgiving, November 24th, as there are two reports. They retaped the uh, James Storm and AJ Styles segment to air for those uh, this week's uh, November 17th uh, segment first. And uh, first match, Matt Morgan and Crimson retain the, t uh, the tag titles against Mexican America. Next up was Karen Jarrett coming out with Tracy Brooks, Gail Kim, and Madison Rain. The heels. Karen calls out Knockouts roster and announces a lingerie match. Okay. Kurt Angle comes out for a promo on James Storm, who eventually comes comes out. Storm wants to fight, but da Daniels, Bully Ray, and Jeff Jarrett come down to surround him. Storm hit Angle, and he gets beat down by AJ Rob. Uh, he get beat, gets beat down by the heels of, uh, and that's uh, immortal. AJ Styles, Rob Van Dam, and Mr. Anderson make the save. Bobby Roode comes out uh, towards the end. And Storm laid him out. So it says, Velvet Sky, Tara, and Miss Tessmacher beat Winner, Angelina Love, and Madison Rain in the lingerie match. Mickey James came out, stopped Madison from interfering, and Velvet pinned her for the win. Mickey may have been injured, but why wasn't she in the match to begin with? Hmm. Backstage segment with former referee Rudy Charles, who may be coming back to, ten, uh, to Impact Wrestling. Also in the segment was Eric Young and Rob Terry. And Robbie E. Uh, Robbie E. versus Young is booked tonight, where the loser has to wear a turkey suit. Which did not happen. Someone else ended up wearing it. Uh, next up was Jeff Hardy coming out in a mask, supposedly. What? But when he took it off, and it's another double J, double J, Jeff Jarrett. Harder came out, and then they fought. Daniels and Bully Ray made a save for Jarrett, which brought out, brought back out AJ Styles, Anderson, RVD. Next match was Eric Young defeating Robbie E. Young made Rob Terry put the turkey suit on after the match because Robbie Robbie was laid out. That's Robbie E was laid out. So I just call them E and T. E T, get it? 
extraterrestrial? Eh, never mind. Jeff Hardy, Mr. Anderson, and AJ Styles. Is it Jeff Hardy, Mr. Anderson, AJ Styles, and Rob Van Dam for it's an eight man dance. I should say, well, four on four tag match. They beat uh, Robbie Roode, or uh, Jeff Jarrett, Billy Ray, and Daniels in the main, main event elimination match, which wasn't announced. Earlier in uh, this report, Angle and Storm were at ringside. It came down to Styles, H Styles and Hardy for their team. Well, Hardy, uh, lay, uh, this was, wasn't in this report, but it was in the other report. Hardy uh, didn't even actually start the match as Rue was uh, on commentary and Hardy was recovering backstage from earlier when he was getting beat down. Angle and Storm ended up brawling to the back. After the match, Rue came out, took Styles and, and Hardy down to the end of the show. Well, next report from Miles Standish and PWSider.com. There was a dark match. Austin Aries defeated Alex Silva. Okay, before Thanksgiving taping started, they retaped AJ Styles, James Storm promo. That will air the, uh, ten, uh, this Thursday's episode, November 17th. Then they had the first match. Impact Wrestling Tag Team Champions Matt Morgan and Crimson defeated Mexican America to retain the tag titles. For those that didn't know, you should watch my video prior to this from, the, from this week's TNA tapings. I gave a detailed report. Last night, so watch that one for the actual results. Okay, okay. Uh, 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 see, Matt Morgan and Crimson defeated Mexican America to retain the tag titles. Crimson got the pinfall on our, our Anarchia. Karen and Jarrett came out for a promo with Gail Kim, Madison Rain, and Tracy Brooks. Karen then calls out the other knockouts and sets up a laundry match for later in the night, which was two segments later. Kurt Angle came out in the next segment to talk about James Storm. He ran down Storm until Storm came to the, to the ring to confront Angle. They exchanged words that Storm wanted to fight Angle right now. Angle said that there were others who wanted to fight, him, fight Storm. And that brought out Jeff Jett, Billy Ray, and Christopher Daniels. They came down to the ring and surrounded Storm. So, it looks like Daniels has joined up with Immortals. Storm said that the message Angle wanted Storm to tell his daughter last night about how Kurt was the one to get, give her father a concussion. Storm said he told her and, and that she wanted him to respond to Angle and Storm hit Angle. Well, Jarrett, Ray, and Daniels join the attack on, on Storm until AJ Styles, Mr. Anderson, and RVD come out to the ring to, to help Storm. Security had to separate everyone. Well, you know how security is. When Storm was being taken up the ramp, Impact Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Bobby Roode came out. Storm got in a cheap shot of Roode, laying him out. Match number two was your lingerie. Supposedly match, but... This is, it was an elimination match, I believe. Or what, whichever. Uh, Velvet Sky broke Tess Mocker and Tara defeated Mazarin, winner. And Angelina Love in a lingerie match. All six came out in their own variations of lingerie and posed before the match began. Mickey James, who appeared to be injured, came out and prevented Madison from cheating. Velvet pinned Madison, so... With Mickey being injured, they probably will do the do a backstage segment where they beat her down to get her not to come out. Uh, just for field ends and what have you. Well, then they go to a backstage segment with Robbie E., Rob Terry, Eric Young, and former TNA referee Rooney Charles. Charles was holding a turkey suit. Robbie E. was saying that Young would never get another shot at the TV title. Then they talked more about the, uh, about a setup match later tonight where the loser had to wear the turkey suit. Well, the loser didn't wear the turkey suit. Jeff, uh, Jeff Hardy's music hit, and he walked to the ring covered up in a hoodie. Supposedly it was him. 
wearing a mask. He unmasked and it turned out to be none other than Jeff Jack posing as Hardy. Jarrett ran down Hardy and, and the fans until Hardy came out and attacked Jarrett. Christopher Daniels and Billy Ray ran, ran out and attacked Hardy. So there's your injury part for uh, temporary Hardy to keep, keep him from coming out to start the match with later on uh, in the show. For your main event, in other words. AJ Styles, Mr. Anderson, Rob Van, uh, and Rob Van Dam came out to fight them off. Jeff Hardy had to be helped to the back. Match number three. So uh, there's only like four matches on next week's Impact show. Eric Young defeated Robbie E. with Robbie T. with a pile driver. Robbie E. used a uh, weapon during the match to pin Young, but the referee, referee Rudy Charles found out that Robbie cheated and the match was restarted. After the match, Young took the mic and said that because Robbie E. appears to be knocked out, they need to find someone else to have the turkey suit put on. The suit was put on Robbie T. and then he chased Young to the back. And your main event, match number four, AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Ken Anderson, and RVD with James Storm defeated Bobby Roode, Jeff Jarrett, Christopher Daniels, and Bully Ray with Kurt Angle in, in, in an elimination match. Styles and Hardy were the, uh, were the survivors in this match. Match started off with three on three with Rude doing co commentary with Taz. And Mike Tanay and, and Hardy did not come to the ring to start the match as a result of the early attack in the evening. Anderson was eliminated first and then Rude came, came, came to the ring and connected with a low blow to el eliminate himself by DQ. Daniels eliminated uh, uh, Van Damme with a roll up with a handful of tights. This left AJ Styles alone to face off Daniels, Jar Jarrett, and Billy Ray. Hardy's music then hit and he made, 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 made his way down to the ring and eliminated both Daniels and Jarrett. While this was happening, Angle and Storm brawled to the back. Well, I guess both of them got counted out. Styles, well, of course, Rude got counted out. Uh, dis disqualified, that's what it was. From the low blow. Uh, okay, Styles got the final elimination pinning Ray. Rude came out after the match and laid out both Hardy and Styles and shouted in AJ's face before leaving. Well, they, they taped another match after after all that went off, off the air for an explosion and it was Kazarian defeating Brutus Magnus with a roll up. Thanks for viewing and uh, y'all shall see me uh, Sunday night with the WWE pay-per-view Survivor Series. I wonder if it's going to be like an Extreme Rules. It was only one Survivor Series match. It's going to be kind of boring to me. I like the original styles, uh, original Survivor Series where they had the five on five for everybody. And then of course your main titles of your US title and inter your continental title and your main two titles. Okay, but wrestling has changed over the years, and this is what we're left with for now. Well, thank, thanks for viewing, and again, see me at uh, Sunday night. Peace out.